Keep on rocking in the free world. Keep on rocking in the free world. What up? All right, so I have a TV in my van. I bought it, um, I don't know, like a month or two after I got the van. And um, if you guys remember, I uh, changed the whole front cabinet area because it used to be that uh, those doors came all the way down, just like the side doors do. So I cut the doors shorter, um, glued them together, sanded them, painted them, and then had room to install the speakers, the lights, and to mount the TV in the middle where I wanted it. Now, here's the thing. 12 volt TVs are hard to find inexpensive. Like for example, Walmart and Best Buy, all those places, none of them sell 12 volt TVs, at least not here. And uh, you can buy 12 volt TVs, but they cost hundreds of dollars. Don't waste your money. This is a Samsung 19 inch. Um, I can't remember the model number. I long threw out the box. Um, and I'm not taking it off the wall to find the uh, model number on the back for you. But just do go <laughs> look, if you're on the internet watching YouTube, surely you know how to use Google. So it's a 19 inch Samsung. I bought it at Visions Electronics. It only cost a couple hundred bucks. Oh, I think it was like 160, something like that. And it's 14 volt right out of the package. You know how you can usually tell when it's um, 14 volt, 14, 15 volt, is it has the little uh, jack plug on the back where it's just a little round jack, look like a, looks like a big headphone jack. You plug it in and the other end is a regular house plug. But because it's 14 volt, well, it's really easy to convert it to 12 volt. Now, it's really, it's really important you have the proper tools to do it and a lot of patience. This is what you need, a pair of scissors. And then you cut the cord. That's it. Just cut the, cut the house plug off and now you've got positive and negative and just wire it anywhere you want to 12 volt, just like you would for anything you install in your RV, any light, whatever, positive, negative. I directly wired that TV in I used to have a light on the ceiling up top, that's my disco light, but I had an ugly fluorescent light up there. I took it off and I just ran the wire in behind the cabinet and wired it directly to the TV so it's always powered on. Like, you know what I mean, like the, the power is always live to the TV. And then I just use my remote watch TV whenever I want. Now, uh, being 14 volt, it's perfectly fine for 12 volt because uh, it's actually better in some ways because when you're driving, uh, sometimes you go over 14 volts and sometimes there's my meter right now. I'm at 13.2, 13.4, just 13. Whoa, it's going up. Look at that. I'm not doing it. Whoa, there we go. That's funny. Just when I put the camera on it, see right now I am, uh, yeah, so I'm getting some good sun right now. Anyways, so yeah, it, it can quite often go between 12 and over 14 volts. As you can see right now, just from the solar panels on the roof. I am maxing out on my power, but it won't hurt the TV because it's designed for 14 volts anyway, so it's okay if you have some surges. You could probably go to 17 or 18 volts, so it wouldn't hurt the TV. Um, now, as far as going downwards, let's say you're down to like 11 volts, the only thing that would happen to a 14 volt TV is you might get a slightly dimmer screen. The LED backlights on the screen might be a little dimmer. But then again, if you're at 11 volts, why in the world are you watching TV? You should be worried about charging your batteries. So there you go. Uh, less than 200 bucks right off the shelf. Just cut the cord, directly wire it, and boom, you've got a Samsung 12 volt TV. I have had it now directly connected for oh, months and months and months and months, and it works perfect. So there's the other bonus is that these smaller TVs, well, some of them have headphone jacks. So I just plugged the headphone jack right into the auxiliary of the stereo on the dash and hours. The approaching system will Now I have sound through my car speakers for TV. Keep on rocking in the free world. Want to see more? Become a patron and see exclusive content. Plus, see new, just incredible videos before anyone on YouTube. Head over to patreon.com slash TV and keep on rocking in the free world.